Okay, so this is just going to be a quick little video. This is the Carcano that I've rebarreled for 762 by 39 I got the sights figured out, but I also screwed up along the way. I adjusted this barrel a little bit <clears throat> between putting the two sights on. This is drilled and dovetailed. And I dovetailed it first, and then I drilled the front and then the back. And then between the two, I index the barrel a little bit so the sights aren't quite lined up so I'm gonna have to take this off and plug the holes and move it just a little bit so because of that it's shooting to the left um, I've been shooting some Norinco non-corrosive and I just shot the last of my um, the last of my Barnell full metal jackets I still have some soft points and I still have some Marinko stuff that I just spilled all over the place. So, point of impact on the Marinko and the Barnells is the same. Both of these extract quite well out of this rifle. I gotta get some really fine lapping compound or something and polish the chamber a little bit. Every once in a while it'll, uh, it'll hang up a little bit. But um, this stuff, it always extracts. Might have to just give it a little crack. The Tula stuff, no, you got to beat the bolt open. But when you chamber it, it's hard to lock the bolt down too. <laughs> okay, made a liar to myself. This one's not going to come out easy because it went in hard. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Just give it a quick snap. The full metal jacket chamber is a little easier. I'll shoot a couple full metal jackets. Uh, I'll shoot them low. So they're not in the same group. Just to show you how much different they extract. In there. All right, let's go take a look at that target. It's only 25 meters away, but gives me a baseline, anyways. <clears throat> okay those are the two soft points those are the two full metal jackets and that's surprising well not really because i was aiming down here i wasn't really centering uh, up here in this hole there is there's six full metal jackets and two soft points within about two inches so do that over about 50 meters which is about the max I'll shoot this rifle and uh, it's not bad it's it's serviceable anyway anyways thanks for watching and stay tuned for more on this little girl I'll get the front sight index properly and we'll come up and get some better targets that I can see a little longer away and we'll try it out at 100 yards